Well, we're releasing Black Friday 2. Uh, Black Friday 2 is part of the Black Friday series. And what that is, is a solution-based series that deals with how we as African Americans value a dollar and the importance of leaving a legacy for the next generation. It's more important now than ever in our history that we understand our money, understand our finances, and understand you know, how to be an entrepreneur and how to be self, uh, self-sustained. Because right now what's going on is we're now in the technological age. In the technological age, it's all about technology. It's all about being an entrepreneur. It's all about creating your own path. You know, we're just we're, we're post-industrial age where uh, manual labor was needed in order to do certain jobs and to uh, survive in this capitalistic society. But right now with the technology, you know, technology with, with a cell phone, we can literally do business around the world with the cell phone. So you have to learn how to think like entrepreneurs and create a product, a service, or something like that. And that's what Black Friday Part 2 deals with. It offers seven practical principles to help you build a legacy, to help you build wealth to, in today's society. Who are some of the people you, you interviewed in this particular Man, we had a lot of different, uh, a lot of good people in this one that we interviewed. Uh, we interviewed uh, David Banner. Uh, we have Chuck D in the film. We have uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins. We have Dr. George Frazier, uh, Professor Griff. Uh, who are some of the others? We have uh, Jewel Tankard. You know, if you want to talk about some of the females, uh, Dr. Venus Opal Reese is in the film. Uh, Judge Lauren Lake is featured in this film. You know, and a lot of other uh, business owners as well as, uh, you know, different people that shed light on economics, on how to survive, and how to build wealth in America. You know, before integration, during the days of segregation, black people were forced to be entrepreneurs, business owners, Mm -hmm. because they were not provided that opportunity, you know, to shop where they did or use other services or people. Do you think... We've come back full circle at this point now that the, you know, the, the, this generation, you know, the generation before we get it now, we got to go back to our own. Yes, I think, yes, I think we are coming back to that. But I think instead of it just being something where we were competing locally or competing with the people in the U.S., we're now competing globally. You know what I'm saying? Because we're in a global economy, we're in a global society right now. Like I said earlier, the cell phone has literally turned the world into a village. So yes, you have to think like an entrepreneur because, you know, working a 40-hour week job for 40 years and retiring with a gold watch and a pension plan, those days are over right now. You know what I'm saying? So you got to create your own path. You have to blaze your own path. Right. Now, when I met you, you were a photographer, photojournalist. Mm-hmm. Uh, what prompted you to go into uh, doing independent films? Well, the thing that really sparked my uh, intrigued me about filmmaking was, you know, I started out writing poetry and had the opportunity to work with a lot of the poets that was on HBO's Dell Poetry. So after we toured with HBO Dell Poetry, won a Peabody Award, won an Emmy Award, and things like that. Um, after that, I was like, well, what's the next move? So what I did was I uh, connected with a fellow who had won an Emmy Award and we created a poetry DVD series called Word. And after creating that series, um, it kind of led my path, led us on the path of filmmaking. So I was like, wow, once the Internet can really catch up, the bandwidth of the Internet can really catch up and we can actually put videos on the Internet. I say, man, video is going to be king. And that's where we are now. That was almost 15 years ago. That was in 2002. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling my age, but you know, I still look young. Still look like 22. But um, but yeah, so that that was the thing. Um, you know, once I, I saw that, I was like, once the bandwidth on the internet can catch up and we can actually stream video on the web, it's going to change the game. And that's where we are now.